Jo Reed from Athletics, yeah. um, of course running out in Australia and we've got Mark McGrill as well from Lawn Bowls. Mark, your family are already out in Australia so you're travelling on your own. It must be quite nice not to have your mum and dad with you just for this little part of it. it sort of, yeah. <laughs> However, uh, my partner's in tow. Um, she, she's coming along as a practice partner and, uh, and to, to watch the games have a bit of a holiday. So uh, I'm not totally on my own, which is good. This is a real family outing and obviously you've had an awful lot of media coverage um, since it was announced that you are on the team. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel absolutely fine. Uh, I think it's only just hitting home now when I look around who, who we're with. Um, I've been so busy in work over the last couple of months that I've not really had a lot of time to, to, to have time to myself more than anything. It's been a bit of practice, work, practice, work, and it's only today I've had a bit of downtime. And now that I see that it's a reality, it's starting to get exciting. Who's your first fixture um, with, and I, when is it? Our first fixture is against Wales, <laughs> so <laughs> perfect me, for you. Me and my dad will uh, enjoy that one. Um, we managed to draw in the European Championships in September with the Welsh lads. Uh, I don't think it's going to be the same pairing, uh, but I think we're just about able to, to cope with the pressures that we'll be facing. I'm so excited to get to know your sport a little bit more because it is a sport that I don't have enough knowledge about so I'm really looking forward to getting out there and actually watching you and giving some coverage to it but uh, Joe, the day has arrived you are standing here in Ronald's Way Airport at, at one point you didn't think it was going to happen how excited are you to be wearing that kit? Very excited um, I've been the same as Mark to be honest with being so busy and everything at work you don't really get a chance to think about it and then the last fortnight or so has gone really quickly and this morning before I left my house I was like Wow, it is, it is today. And how are you physically feeling? Great. Uh, coming off the back of the indoors, I had a down week consisted of about five days, which I just took really light stuff. Then I've been into another big block of training, and all my sessions have gone really well, been really consistent. I'm just hoping that once I get out there, the heat and everything, I'll be able to put some really big sessions together. And just, I normally, before I run well, I just have that one session that clicks, and I just think, yeah, that's the one that's going to spur me on to have a good race now. So. And obviously you're going to be sitting down for quite a long time now for the next one, both of you, obviously, you know, in the events that you're covering, you're going to be, you know, sat down an awful lot. How do you help yourself with regards to that? Do you get up and walk around on the plane or? Yeah, I've got some little drills and everything that I need to do every so often to make sure that my legs don't totally You're not going to be, I've got this so vision now of you running up and down the plane. I won't be running. I'll be doing walking drills, a bit of stretching, things like that. I brought my band and my foam roller, so I, yeah, I won't just be sat down the whole time. Mark, you've got a foam roller ready? Uh, unfortunately, I left it in the house. I didn't have enough, <laughs> enough room in my case, but I'll be borrowing his now. <laughs> Joel's and neck are strong, ready? Yeah, they're, they're, they're absolutely fine. Fortunately, I don't have to be as fit as him, so I don't have to worry about running up and down the plane. <laughs> Any nerves at all, Joe? Uh, not at the minute, no. I, I'd imagine once it, because, once it gets to maybe the week before my race, or once I see who I'm racing, then maybe, but at the minute I'm just really looking forward to it. We'll wish you all the very best and uh, good luck with that long day ahead and a little bit of jet lag perhaps at the other end as well. But we look forward to seeing you out there in April. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Just here now at the airport with His Excellency Lieutenant Governor and also the President of the Commonwealth Games Committee, Commonwealth Games Association, sorry, Basil. His Excellency, what an honour it is to have you here and seeing the Isle of Man team off. Um, it must be wonderful for you to witness this yourself. Yeah. No, the honour goes with all the, all the athletes heading off. I know you haven't got all of them going from the same time. I think they're gathering in Manchester and going on from there tomorrow. But an awful lot of them here, apart from the cy cyclists. And they're suppressing their excitement. And if they're, if they're a little bit worried, they're suppressing their worry as well, very hiding it very well. And there's a sense of, obviously, the enthusiasm that you'd expect. I think I, like it, my wife and I, and everybody else in the island will be following it uh, day by day. And I saw that you were giving them lots of words of encouragement and uh, the feedback generally you're saying is exciting. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of nerves also. How do you think they're ha managing those nerves? Well, the good thing is they've got two weeks to acclimatise it. So there's a huge time difference, 10 hours or so. And also the weather's not quite, it's not very Manx weather over there at the moment, I don't think. <laughs> so that's how today it could be the same, although it's very cold You add 20 there. degrees to the temperature <laughs> or 25 and you might be getting there. Something they're not um, used to. And it's it's good that there's a wide range of ages too, because there's some of the sports, whether it's bowls or whether it's uh, shooting, you can do in you know, not 
just in the first flush of youth, whereas the swimmers and the gymnasts, they, they're, all, they're all young people. So you've got quite a range. Absolutely. And Basel, the support from the Isle of Man is huge. And already we're finding out as media, the people, there's going to be so much support actually out in Australia as well. People traveling out to go and watch. We've got a big contingent of family and friends that are going out that have been contacting us, looking for tickets, trying to find um, entries into different events. So it's going to be really exciting. You can see a lot of Manx flags in the um, in the crowds. Yeah. How is the atmosphere within the team? Oh, I mean, it's so exciting. Got... I think everybody they've worked so hard to get here, and I think it's eventually arrived. And they've been waiting for this day to go through those doors over there and get on the plane and head out there and it's all happening. Hopefully Cav arrives in the next few days and we are really <laughs> hoping that he's fine and he's well. So um, we're all looking forward to it and we move into the village and that's when it really starts happening. And that's when your job also really comes yeah. in, doesn't it? What are you going to be focusing on over the next few weeks being out in Australia? I'm going to be um, focusing on supporting the athletes, making sure that they're, they're the most important people. And then also um, meeting um, the delegates from all the other countries and promoting the Isle of Man with them.